everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video um so i wanted us to have a very chilled laid back uh kind of uh video and you can see down below that this is going to be a video where i talk about my netflix recommendations let's be honest okay south africa is in the throngs of the third wave okay we're spending a lot of time at home and i am struggling to find things to watch online but i have found some and if you are thinking about what you can be watching, this is the video for you, especially on Netflix. If you want to know what you can watch on Showmax and all of that, please let me know and then I will let you know. But I'm going to tell you what I've been watching, give you a little bit of a synopsis of what it's about. Um, I have another Netflix recommendations video that I filmed sometime last year that I will attach to this as well so that you can see in the description box below. Get started, please do subscribe, click the bell, do the things. Welcome, welcome to the family if you're a first time watcher and let's get into the video. I, okay, how do I start this? I'm typically more of a series watcher as opposed to a movie watcher so when i'm on netflix a lot of the time i'm watching series because it's great it's a great way to pass the time it's a great way if you're chilling on a saturday with nothing to do to literally pass the time like you can sit for eight hours and watch one series and by the by, by, by the time you wake up and realize you're just like oh my god the whole day is gone what happened you know what i mean so for me i really enjoy watching um series and i enjoy watching uh docu-series as well as opposed to watching movies so in the movies i only have literally four that i can recommend and we'll start with the movies and then with the series i've got quite a bit more so let's get into the video and you'll definitely see in my previous video that it's also a bunch of series as well and i also mentioned other series that aren't available on netflix that you can find online that are but today we're going to talk about what's on netflix let's get into it let's start with movies i'm going to do something when i edit that's just going to be like movies you know what i'm saying movies <laughs> Okay, so the first movie, this movie I came across on a day where I wanted to laugh. I really wanted to laugh and I didn't know what to watch, but I wanted something feel good and I wanted something with women in it. And that's when I came across Wine Country. Now, Wine Country is on Netflix. It's got Tina Fey in it and I absolutely love Tina Fey and it's also got this other lady from Saturday Night Live. I always forget I love her comedy Maya Maya somebody Maya somebody. Uh, I love the comedies that she's in as well but Wine Country basically follows um, four or maybe five friends who are you know in in the older stages of their lives, you know, they're in their 40s, 50s, and they're just living separate lives. Whereas when they were younger, they were like, tight, they were close, uh, they worked at a pizzeria together and all of that, but they've maintained their friendship over the years. It's just that they didn't see each other as often. So Wine Country follows them taking a trip together where they just, you know, want to take some time out. Each of them have different things that are going on in their lives. I love the fact that there is LGBTQIA plus representation in this video as well, in this um, movie as well, which is nice. One of the friends is a lesbian and it follows her story as well. So it's so, so good but it's incredibly funny. It is so funny. There's some witty jokes in there as well. Um, definitely something you can actually watch with your girlfriends as well online. If you do that kind of Zoom and, you know, movie date watch thing with your girlfriends online via Zoom, or if you can have a girlfriend or two at your place and whatever, and you're being safe and everything, watch that it is such a good time and it talks about um you know just the struggles that women at that age go through kids life married life all that kind of stuff it is so good it's such a good time it's such a good time definitely something you should watch if you're looking for a feel-good movie it's so so good and the next one is a little bit weird 
and but it's my kind of weird okay if you're not somebody who likes thrillers or horrors or whatever i i wouldn't suggest that you watch this but it's not crazy scary it's just very psychological and this is i'm thinking of ending things now i'm thinking of ending things is based on a book by ian ian reed i think I wanted to buy the book and I just never got around to buying it and it was so hard to find unless I was gonna buy it online and I got lazy about it and until the movie came out and I'm like okay let me watch the movie whoa crazy so it follows um, this young couple and uh, the guy Jack I think wants to take his girlfriend home for the first time to meet the parents but when they get there and even on the road there uh, the conversations are very, very intriguing. Like for me, I was so into the conversation. I was so into, you know, what, 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 what they were talking about and trying to make sense of it. It really won't make much sense if you're just idly like watching it while you're cooking or while you're doing something, it's not going to make sense. And, um, I love it because it's got Tony... I forget all their names. It's got this actress. I'll put a picture here. Tony somebody. Her name is Tony. And uh, she's in Hereditary. And if you've seen Hereditary, girl, <laughs> that is a horror of note. That thing is terrifying. And she's in Hereditary. And uh, yeah, but I'm thinking of ending things is really, really psychological. It plays on the mind quite a lot. It's just a mind if. You get me? It's a mind if and but it's so 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 good because at the time where they're sitting at the dinner table and no they walk into the house and the girl sees the dog and the dog is like kind of like shaking its body as if it's trying to get, remove the snow off its body and it's shaking and it's shaking and it doesn't stop shaking and it continues shaking. it's so wild it's so good i really really enjoyed it um and someone who's close to me actually suggested that i watch it uh he said to me listen i'm thinking of ending things is on netflix i just watched it and i know this is something you would go insane over like we share a common interest with what we watch and when i watched it i went bonkers i went so wild so definitely try that one out but it's a lot of you might get bored with it, but try it. Um, try it. Another feel-good movie, two feel-good movies, and these are the last ones. I, I, I've watched many more on Netflix, but these are the kind of the ones that kind of stood out. They were like, oh, feel good, nice. Mm. Um, one is called Otherhood, and Otherhood has Angela Bassett in it. And if you love Angela Bassett like I do, like her fitness is on another level, her beauty is on another level, and this woman is grown, yo. Uh, but if you love Angela Bassett, you will love this one. Um, Otherhood just follows these moms who are friends and their children are friends, and but they're grown now and uh, they want to, you know, celebrate Mother's Day. Um, their children forget to send them a Happy Mother's Day message um, and they get upset. They actually say, you know what? no screw this we are gonna go and we are gonna celebrate we are gonna force them to celebrate uh mother's day with us but then the story just follows them and them finding themselves you know after having reached a certain age where you're a mom with grown kids and all of that but also just finding um, the things that you had lost in terms of what you love and uh, good food and going out dancing and all of that really really feel good as well uh, something great to watch with your family or you can watch that with uh, friends you can watch that with friends I don't know you can watch it with whoever really really good one and then another one similar to that also feel good quite sad as well but but really feel good is uh, fatherhood by kevin hart now i'm not crazy about movies by kevin hart however i find I, as a comedian freaking hilarious he's so funny his stand-up is really really funny however uh with these movies uh, i don't find them something to write home about however father fatherhood 
fatherhood was really nice because it showed another side to Kevin Hart. Like it was, it was a little bit on the serious side. It wasn't just about cracking jokes. You know, there are moments where there are those witty moments. Um, um, and it's got that guy as well. What's his name? Jordan, somebody he's in get out, not Jordan Peele. I know his name is uh, Jordan Peele is, is, is the director of get out. It's his movie. However, this guy is Jordan, somebody, man. I'll put a picture. He's in that, and he's also quite funny as well. But it follows uh, Kevin Hart, um, his character, loses his wife at the beginning of the movie, uh, and he loses her just after she's given birth. And now he is left with the task as the father to raise his daughter. And yeah, it just shows what he goes through, you know, uh, the grandmothers, the, the daughter's grandmothers are involved, his, his mom and his wife's mom and all of that. It's really, really nice. It's just a feel good movie. This is something that uh, we watched, I think on Monday, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and yeah, we watched it and we, it, it was okay, but it's like, it's like a feel good movie. It's like a feel good movie. So yeah. Definitely. In terms of the movies, that's what I suggest. And now, and now, we move on to the series. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, firstly, I don't think I mentioned this in my previous um, uh, Netflix recommendations video. I don't think I mentioned this in my previous Netflix recommendations video, but... If you are, if you want something scary, if you want something uh, paranormal a little bit, if you want something that's just going to shake you up a little bit uh, without absolutely terrifying you, like you'll still be able to go to bed at night and, and sleep and not worry about what could be happening while you're asleep. I mean, or maybe you could worry. Who knows? <laughs> Here's The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor. Now, I went crazy over these. Uh, Haunting of Bly Manor, I watched by myself. And The Haunting of Hill House, I started it with uh, Palesa and then I continued it uh, by myself. The Haunting of Hill House follows these siblings who, um, who have gifts in some way, you know? Um, two of them, okay, twins. There's one set of twins and then three other siblings that are uh, grown. And it just follows how uh, trauma, what trauma can do to a person. Um, uh, so the kids lose their mom while they are young uh, based on a fire that happens at Hill House, which is where they were staying. But um, as they grew up and got old and whatever, they all have different renditions of actually what happened on that night because they were there. But the trauma that follows them and how the trauma presents itself in their lives is a sick. There's an episode called The Lady with the Bent Neck. <laughs> hey, 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 It is so good. So good. It is Cinema, 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 uh, cinematic, it's cinematic, the videography is insane, the cinematography is insane in that show, it is so, so, so good, so good, uh, so that's the first one that I watched, and then after that I watched Haunting of, uh, Bly Manor, which, strangely, has the same characters as the ones in Hill House. However, the storyline is completely different. So this one uh, follows um, uh, these kids who live in a big house in the English countryside, uh, which they call Bly Manor, and a new nanny comes um, to look after these kids because the kids lost their parents. The stuff that happens in that house and the history and the guys, if you want something that's just going to make you feel so top of way, like, oh my God, what's going on? Watch those two shows, please. Do me a favor, watch those two shows and then tell me and tag me if you're going to post it or talk about it, tag me and let me know what you think. Those are really good. Those, that, that, those ones are definitely for the horror lovers, horror thriller lovers. That one's good. And then what I finished recently was Feel Good. And Feel Good is um, series 
by Mae Martin. And she stars as herself, Mae Martin, in the series. And it follows the life of this young girl, Mae, early 20s, and um, just her life with uh, dealing with uh, addiction and dealing with relationships and dealing with sexuality. Um, uh, you know, when the show starts, she's a lesbian, but then as the show progresses, she starts, you know, feeling some different types of way about her sexuality. It's, it's very coming of age, but also at the, at the same time, it's something that expresses sexuality quite nicely. Um, it's really good. At the same time, it's funny and it's got six, six or seven episodes per season and it's got two seasons. Really, really, really something binge worthy. Like you can literally watch that one, ep like one season in one day and the next season, the next day. Like it's, it's that good. It's that good. And then another one that is also really funny is Master of None. We watched Master of None. Um, I keep feeling like I'm seeing something. We watched Master of None and we finished one season literally in one sitting. So it's like half an hour per episode, much like Feel Good. And hilarious follows uh, this guy, Dev. And Dev is a foodie. And um, the season that we watched was season two, I think, or season three, I don't know, where he's in Italy. And it just follows his life and his life as a Muslim uh, a young man who is not really religious, who doesn't really practice his religion that much and all of that, but it's just hilarious. And his friends, his life, his career, it's so freaking funny. You will love it. Master of None, so, so good. So, so good. Something a little bit darker is Marcella and Marcella I'm actually still watching now and I'm not that far in, I'm like five episodes in. And this follows Marcella as she uh, returns back to work when a murder has just happened in London, in England. A murder has just happened and she was one of the lead investigators in a similar bunch of murders that happened while she was still on the force. But this season, this series starts off with her returning back to work to, because this supposed serial killer is back again murdering people and really really nice really intense really uh thrilling definitely if you want to watch something more serious i highly recommend marcella really really good um still watching it but really enjoying it so i thought i'd mention that if you are a working mom I highly suggest you watch Working Moms. So funny, follows this life of, um, uh, follows the lives of different women, different uh, point of views, different characters uh, in the show, and they are working mothers. And yeah, it just follows their struggles with motherhood, with trying to be a wife and be a mother, trying to balance uh, being a mother, wife, and a working mom, and um, just sharing their stories when they go to uh, the different uh, classes that are for uh, new mothers and all of that. Mwah. Also really, really funny. Um, just opens your eyes a lot of... Uh, it opens your eyes a lot to uh, what working moms have to go through. Um, definitely something in which working moms will relate. I can't say I relate. However, I enjoyed. So if you are a working mom, it's definitely something you can relate to. So funny, so hilarious. Right. And then I recently watched... Where are we? Okay. I recently watched a K-drama. I used to watch K-dramas. I don't know if I mentioned my previous k-drama that i in my previous netflix recommendations if i haven't i'm gonna mention them now one is catch me when you land so good so soppy so smarty k-dramas are really big on the soppiness when they are romantic you know um and this one follows this really wealthy um wealthy young woman who comes from a very wealthy background and works for her family and um she was going paragliding or something like that uh in south korea but then something goes wrong and the wind pulls her otherwise and she lands up in north korea and now she's fun i mean if you know 
about North Korea and South Korea is, is crazy. So she finds herself in North Korea and she's found by this general, this lieutenant, who of course, oh my ring just fell off, who of course um, falls, in falls in love with her and it's this big thing where she's trying to get back to South Korea and he's here and he needs to protect her and this and this. It's so smutty but so good. So, so good. So well filmed. And then my two favorite ones. One I am currently watching because it's not finished yet. It's got new episodes every week. That is, uh, what is it? Mine. M-I-N-E. So good follows these three women who will do whatever it takes to be happy whatever it takes and these three women are part of a very wealthy family two of which two of them uh came into the wealthy family via marriage and then the other one i can't say how she comes into the family however yo it's so good <laughs> I binged watched that thing cray and it was so 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 good uh, what I love about Korean um, dramas or yeah K dramas and all of that the clothing <laughs> the cinematography <laughs> the way they dress I I shame 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 you yeah, if I had the money I would dress like that all the time. Oh my God, the way they dress. Mwah, clean. Um, one of the reasons why I love uh, mine. But another another K-drama that I absolutely loved and I fell in love with their clothes as well and whatever is a, The World of the Married. And that this one follows the life of this uh, doctor who discovers that her husband is having an affair and she follows it up and oh my god things get revealed and she follows and she follows and things get revealed and things get revealed and guys it's crazy but it's so good the clothing the cinematography so 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 good so good and then the last two that i'm going to mention are docu-series and these are more on the serious side but i feel like they're really enjoyable to watch the first one is Audrey and Daisy. Now, when I was talking in my bullying video, I mentioned that there is a series on Netflix and I'd forgotten the name where a girl was cyber bullied online to, it got to such a bad place that she took her own life. First, it was this one girl and then the other one, you know, tried to continue on with her life. But I think recently, Sometime this year, in the beginning of this year, the second girl also took her life. I saw it in the news. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. But um, really clearly depicts the effects of bullying, whether it be online or whatever, but how it, how uh, the person who is bullied ends up feeling and all of that and what it does to their life and the life of their family and all of that. It's really, really good really good definitely watch Last and then the one which i found phenomenal and it it's a it's a series as well no it's a docuseries i think it's got maybe two episodes i don't remember it's tell me who i am this is hard to watch uh this is not something i would recommend that you watch if you're a sensitive viewer but it follows the life of these two men who are now grown men uh, who are twins, identical twins, and they, it, it just, whew, it follows their life and what happened to them when they were growing up. But one of the other twins doesn't remember because he was in a motorcycle accident and had amnesia. So he lost his uh, long, short-term memory, but not his long-term memory. And he remembered only the good things, but there were bad things happening to these boys. And the other twin remembered and couldn't tell him. It's just, just watch it. Just watch. It. This is it. This is it. I am done. What are you currently watching right now on Netflix? I would love to know. We are in the third wave. I'm going to be sitting at home for a while. So I would definitely love to know what you're currently watching on Netflix. And I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am now going to rest because I've been busy all day. And it is now 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go. I hope you are good. Well, stay safe. Take care. And follow, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.